Hello Aries, this is Leonard with Lingonberry Tea Tarot and I'm doing your love reading for the month of March. So, we have a message for you. I'm thinking of you at this very moment. Your love fills me with light and I love you. And there's also playfulness in your relationship that is or may be sprouting um, when it starts. And if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the, your heart is the gateway to your soul. And imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into the light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. And appreciate the moments and look to your inner strength. And love makes a difference and somebody loves you. And also during this time, the... Don't take too many unnecessary risks because there may be a rat in your presence. Um, but don't stand back from any opposition that you are facing. And you may be dealing with somebody with a dark complexion who is pretty much lighthearted and carefree. So that is your oracles for the month of March. And let's go ahead and move on to the tarot. Oh, passion. Okay. <clears throat> I am going to be using the Aquarian Tarot and doing a six-card pool, and then we will go from there. First card, the Lover's card. So that is a good sign. Five more cards, please. Ooh. Seven of rods, ten of rods, ten of pentacles. Two more, please, for this read for Aries. That's way too many. Um, five of rods and six of rods. And just what the heck. Overall outcome. And arguments. Okay. So you're definitely dealing with a soulmate. And there's going to be letting your guard down which helps end your burdens because whoever this is, they see you as their Ten of Pentacles. And even though you're starting to let your guard down, it helps you celebrate in your life with the Six of Rods. And it will lead to the Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. It won't be without certain arguments that happen occasionally but a tower is going to bring about this change for you and you're going to be looking at things differently because it's potentially somebody that you walked away from and you've been waiting for them to come back and now they're back because the wheel of fortune is turning So let's go into the Sun and Moon Tarot and see if we can clarify some of these. Okay, so those are kind of like it. But yeah, once this person started in your life or came back into your life, you automatically put up your barriers. You put up... You gave them boundaries. We've tried this in the past, but here are my limits. Here's what um, I'm willing to put up with at this point. Because of that, you're not really celebrating. You have your barriers up. And justice is in reverse, 
So you're waiting for equilibrium, an equal give and take in this relationship. And this person's come back as an emperor. So they went through a major upgrade. To not only end your burdens, but end the Ten of Swords moment. And it causes you to look at things differently with them. Because maybe they have changed. Maybe they have finally grown up. But like I said, there's still arguments. So you're going to eventually see see them in a different light. And it's going to end end your heartache and end feeling left out in the cold. But really, you need to make a decision on this person because they are coming in hot and heavy. And you have more than enough to give in the relationship as a Queen of Pentacles in terms of love and kindness towards others. And temperance is going to bring about a change into your overall emotions and disposition and they will offer their cup but we still come back to the five of cups so maybe this rat was this person maybe they like arguing with you maybe they like um the makeup afterwards I and yeah it's it's not a overall hmm. Hmm. overall happy situation for the most part but it is your wish fulfillment. And you're still making a decision. They are coming in abundant themselves. They're making this offer towards you as a knight rather than a page. Eventually, and it's going to be your wish fulfillment. You're going to make a decision. Do you want this person in your life? Um, knowing that they have certain, um, relationship hang-ups that you still have your guard up, up against. Um, yeah. A little bit of greed and S and M kind of kink I'm getting from this, but yeah, that is your reading, Aries. It's a very interesting one. I mean, there's definitely going to be a lot of playfulness, and that's why I said uh, that it might be a little bit of S and M, and but. Yeah, it's like, like this person might be a rat, and, but also when you're dealing with them, especially if you're going to entertain their kinks, yeah, play it safe, make sure to have a safe word, yeah, because... Yeah, it might be a little bit more hardcore than you really want. Um, but I wish you the best, Aries, and let me know if you liked it. And if you do, like, comment, share, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you again next time. Laters.